Primary school teacher Gladys Ng is set to save money on her daily commute from work with the opening of the fourth stage of the Thompson East Coast Line TEL4 on June 23. The 55-year-old, who lives in a condominium near Bayshore MRT Station, usually takes private hire car rides, which cost around $20 each way to and from her workplace, located near Great World Station. This is because her journey on public transport consists of two bus rides that would take one and a half hours inclusive of waiting time. This is 70 minutes longer than a journey by private hire car. But with the opening of TEL4, she can save on at least one private hire car ride a day. I've timed my journey and it's about 52 minutes from my doorstep to my workplace. I will likely use the new TEL4 line to cut costs when going home. Using it to get to work could still be a stretch time-wise because it is preferable that I arrive before 7 a.m., said Miss Ng. She was among 20 commuters who boarded the first train that departed from Bayshore MRT, Watts Woodlands North at 6. 16 a.m. on TEL Force first day of passenger service. Spanning 10.8 kilometers, the TEL 4 stretch consists of seven stations, Tanjung Ru, Ketong Park, Tanjung Ketong, Marine Parade, Marine Terrace, Siglap and Bayshore, providing commuters in the East Coast area with alternative travel options. Another early riser was Mr. Chua Kin Tong, 69, who was headed for his daily exercise class at East Coast Park at 7 a.m. from his home near Bayshore Station. I usually drive, but I'm taking today's journey as a trial to see how long it would take for me to get to my class, said Mr. Chua, who alighted at Marine Parade Station. If it's convenient, I hope to be able to save on parking costs, which are about $3.50 per day, he added. Madam Janice Lau, who lives in a condo that is a five-minute walk from Bayshore Station, wanted to get on the first train because she had been waiting for the opening for a long time. It's very exciting because it's so near my home. It'll be easier for me to get to all the places I usually frequent, like gardens, by the bay and the city, said Madam Lau, who is in her 60s. Train enthusiasts were also among those who made the special effort to hop on the first tail for train. Institute of Technical Education student Chung Su Hung, 20, arrived at Bayshore Station at 4. 50 m via a grab car ride from his home in Tayang Baru. As the shutters rolled up at 6 a.m., he was the first commuter to set foot in the station. Mr. Chong, who has been fascinated by trains for as long as he can remember, also attended the Tel Tree opening in November 2022 and the June 2023 launch of new trains that have features like larger windows. He kept a lookout for designs unique to each Tel for station such as skylights at Ketong Park Station that allow natural light in. Because the trains on TEL4 have windows at the front, I will be able to see into the tunnel and how the trains move and turn, said Mr. Chong. Primary school pupil Tan Tech N, 10, was so eager to be on the first train that he got his father, who wanted to be known only as Mr. Tang, 40, to drive from their Bishan home to Bayshore Station in the early morning. On his first impressions of Tel 4, he said, the stations are more elderly friendly and the escalators have floor level lighting to show you which direction it is moving. The new hybrid cooling fans are also probably more energy efficient. Businesses operating near Tel 4 stations are hoping that the improved connectivity will bring more footfall and a boost to their revenues. The seven new stations were open to the public on June 21 for a preview that drew around 380. 000 people and heartland operators saw an uptick in business. At Marine Parade Central Market and Food Centre, hawkers were buzzed with excitement, with the preview having brought in so many patrons on June 21 that all tables were filled.
The Marine Parade Station exit is right outside the Hawker Centre Madam Winnie Lee, who has been selling economic bihun, exayan, long-cooked food for six years, said business, jumped by about 30% on the preview day. We don't open on Sunday, but we decided to do so today because of the good response on the day of the preview. If business is good, we might consider operating on Sundays, said the 50-year-old. Similarly, Ms. Xiang Jing, manager at Bakery Cuisine's Marine Parade Central Outlet, said sales dumped by about 30% on preview day. If business continues to improve, we will consider introducing new products and flavors. She said. Speaking to the Straits Times, at about 9 a.m., SMRT station manager Qin Hongwei, who looks after Tanjung Ru Station, said operations were smooth and crowds were manageable. Mr. Chin and his team have been working since August 2023 to get the station up and running. In the days leading up to the tell for opening, they made sure that lifts, public address PA systems and the air conditioning were working. They also ensured there was enough manpower to handle any unforeseen circumstances and familiarize staff with key landmarks near the station so they could assist passengers. As Tanjung Ru Station is near the National Stadium, which frequently hosts concerts and sports events, the team has put in place protocols to manage large crowds. We have drawn up how much manpower we would need and have equipment like queue poles, light sticks and portable PA sets. We are looking forward to the next concert, so we have a gauge of the crowd we'll encounter, said Mr. Chin. He added, I definitely feel a sense of satisfaction because I saw what the station was like from the start and now commuters have given us good feedback.